Okay, so now we're going to name and draw alcohols and thiols. So I grouped these two together because they're really quite, quite related. So let's start with alcohols. So you can tell something is an alcohol if it has the functional group that looks like this that's attached to some carbon molecule. You could tell if something's a thiol if instead of an oxygen there, it's a sulfur. Oxygen and sulfur are in the same group on the periodic table, so they have similar properties. Um, and so that's why these two are grouped together. Alcohols include the beverages you are thinking of, ethyl alcohols or ethanols, including vodka, wine, beer, etc. Thiols, these really kind of have a garlicky smell. They're also found in like uh, skunk scent or skunk cabbages. So some people find these pleasant, other people find them extremely unpleasant, particularly if they are vampires. Okay. So, alcohols, starting with those, here's an example molecule. Let's do this in yellow. So, we've got CH3CHOH, CH2, CH2, CH3. Let's go ahead and name this. So, looking at this, we see the OH in the middle. That's what makes it an alcohol. Alcohols have an OL ending. They're still named based on the longest chain and then um, a number indicating where the alcohol is because it could be on this carbon, it could be on that carbon. We don't know. That's what the number's for. And then the OL ending. Okay, so counting our carbons here, and then we're going to draw this into a skeletal formula. One, two, three, four, five total carbons. And looking at this, we don't have any additions other than the OH, so we're just going to draw it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five carbons here. This OH group is on carbon two. OH. So this is what it looks like in the skeletal form. You could also draw this in the extended form, but I find that uh, too complicated to really interpret. Um, so CH3, CH with an OH attached, CH2, CH2, CH3. That's what's going on here. So now we name it with a number indicating where the alcohol is, the lowest number possible. So if we number from here, one, two, three, four, five, five, and this chain's very easy, of course it's going to be five. Four, two, two's the lowest, so we're going to name this two. Then the longest, then the chain name. So five is going to be pent. So pentan, but instead of writing the E for pentane, it's going to be all for the alcohol. So two pentanol. Um, another example, I'm going to draw your favorite one, OH. This one, because this is on the one group, we, we can omit the one, but this is called ethanol, and that's the good alcohol. So eth eth ethan, right, like as an ethane, because there's one, two carbons here, and then the alcohol. So if we number it from the other way, one, two, it would be one ethanol if you want to be particularly um, perfect, but ethanol, because no matter where you put this OH group, even if you put it on this other carbon, like so, this would still be one, one, two. So it's always et one ethanol, so we just leave out the one. That's why. Okay, now let's practice a thiol. So this you see it has the OL ending as well. If we use that as an ending, we couldn't differentiate it from alcohols. So this is actually going to use the word thiol, the whole word, to differentiate it from alcohol, because they are related. They're similar. OK, so CH3, CH2, 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 SH. Okay, so here we see the SH. That's what makes it a thiol. It's attached to this carbon on the end here. So let's go ahead and draw this out. This has one, two, three, four, five carbons. One, and no other crazy branching, no parentheses or anything like that. One, two, three, four, five. And on the end here, it has that SH group. 
Okay, so because this is on the end, it makes the numbering very easy, right? We could number it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or we could number it right to left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 is obviously the lowest number here. This could be 2, 3, 4, anyone in there, so um, or at least 2 and 3, because once it got to 4, it's the same as 2, you see? And once it gets back to 5, it's the same as 1. But so because this could be in other places, we have to write the 1 here. So this would be 1, then you name the longest chain. It's 5, pentane, and then you throw on the word thiol. Okay, and that's it. So just adding the word thiol to the whole word pentane, whereas in alcohols, you drop the E, add OL. Drop the E, add OL.